Hi, I'm John Storms, and today I am setting up my house in X-Lights as a model. So previously, I went through and I got all my channels mapped over to what they need to be in X-Lights. So I went through the process, and this is how everything you know lays out. Uh, I have this spreadsheet that I've created. This is, shows all of my mappings, right? So this here shows basically the exact same thing that's in the Setup tab here. Okay, um, I've gone one step further, and for the places where I had my old Lightorama stuff, it's still Lightorama stuff, but it's over the DMX now, these are going to represent a single channel. So what I did is I broke these out individually and figured out which channel, which X-Lights channel that goes with, right? So I know exactly which channel controls each of my elements. And then I just figured out whether or not I was going to model them or not. Some are unused, some are stuff I don't put up anymore, and so on. Okay, so you know that's that's what I need to go through and model. All right, now when you go through and do this, you know you always reference things in the models by their start channel in Xlight. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide this, so I don't accidentally go in and put in the wrong one. Okay, so I come over to Xlights, I go to the layout tab and I have nothing here so I click on models new model uh, let's see what do I want to start with so I'm gonna come over here and say okay let's start with the um, the first mega wreath that goes on T1 alright so he is a custom model so I've created all these models for the various stuff that I want I just basically pull in an image into um, Excel and then you know, fill the numbers into the grid and then I copy and paste. So this is going to be 50 by 69. So it is a custom model. It is This one is going to be RGB nodes. And I said it was 50, 50 wide and 69 high. Okay. I'm going to call this Mega wreath T1. This is my first mega wreath. And now, what I want to do is I want to copy all those channels. Okay, hit Control C, come over here, hit Paste. Let me make this a little bigger. And I come and see, yep, they're all there. Okay. Now the next thing I do is I go over to my channel sheet and I say, okay, Mega Wreath 1 starts at channel 5818. So I copy that, come over here, 5818. So what's going to happen is it's going to come in here, it's going to find channel number 1, and it's going to say you're actually channel 5818 as far as x is concerned. Channel 2 is an offset, it will be 5819. 5820, 5821, and so on, all the way around. So, in terms of the models, you don't have to put the exact channel number. These are offsets from whatever you specify this channel to be. Okay, I click OK. I click OK, and there it is. So I was like, okay, well, you know what? I should probably put a background image so I know where to put this. So I'm going to go back to my Lightorama visualizer. I'm just going to use the same image I used for there. So there's my house. And I said, okay, it goes right there, but it's a little big, so I can just grab these arrows, and we'll just size him appropriately. That looks good. Now, the cool thing is, is that uh, this wreath is exactly the same as this one. So I go back to models, I click here, I click on him, and I say, copy. I say, what do you want to call him? Well, I'm going to call him Mega Wreath T3. Everything else is the same except the starting number. I'm just going to check this to say that I did it. See, so T3 is 6193. Hit Control 1. I mean, I hit Control C to copy that. 6193. Change this channel. And I click OK. See that? Now I just need to resize them. Right next to it, so I can. And then I just drag him over to where he needs to be. 
All right, now I can click on over here and I can click on Overlap Checks Enabled. What that does for me is, let's say I messed up here, okay? And it's not hard to mess up, but let's say like I got the, the numbers overlapped, right? Like I use uh, the ending channel instead of the starting channel. So let me say, let's see, this is 58, 18. Let me see, what if I had put in 5,900 here? That would overlap with the first wreath. Okay, first of all, it tells me it's wrong. See, and now it shows up red. See, it's telling me, hey, John, you did something wrong here. Okay. So I go back to models. We fix them, modify, and so by having that on, whoops, by having that on, we keep it from getting screwed up. Alrighty, I can tell I accidentally grabbed a pixel I shouldn't, so I'm just going to go back to models. I'm going to delete him. I'm going to start over. Copy. T3. Custom, custom, custom. Now if I screw up, it'll automatically detect it. And if I'm systematically screwing up, that could potentially save me a lot of time. Time's important, because there's only so much time before the wife comes home. Then I can't play Christmas lights anymore. <laughs> okay, so we're all clear. So now, Let's hit these wreaths in the middle. So I come over here and I mock him done. So I want to do these middle wreaths. So I go back to my model spreadsheet. These are my 36 inch wreaths. Okay, I grab that, copy, control C. And this is 31 high. This will be T2, or Mega Wreath, T21, because it goes in the second section of my house. And it's 31 high. Custom. Let's see, it is 25 wide. Oh, it's 33 high. Oh, I see. That was a different thing. Okay, it's 33 wide, 25 wide. Okay, see, and I paste him in, and he's all good to go. And so I go look up his starting channel. He is 6718 over here, start channel, 6718, click OK, we size them up, That's about right. Every once in a while I hit the save button just so I save the models. Over here I say copy. And this is going to be Mega Wreath T2. Two, T1 is this side of my house. This is T2. This is T3. This is G1 for garage 1, G2 for garage 2. Why? Because it fits two cars. Alright, so 2. And then the only other thing that changes is. Okay, got him is this number, the start channel. See where having that in the spreadsheet is kind of nice and handy. I can kind of just cut and paste and I don't get any uh, typos that way. And it is just figuring everything else out for me. Click OK. Now if you want these to be exactly the same size, what I can do is if I click on this one, see it tells me 2.8 by 4.5. So I come over to here and I can say 2.8, 4.5, you see, it's perfect. 
All right, so go back to models, copy. Now I go get my number. So 168. Seven one six eight. Uh, let's see, it's two point eight by four point five. Two point eight by four point five. See how nice that was? <coughs> okay, so now the wreaths are done. So now I want to do my tree line. So I got this pixel tree line. So let me go over to here. And here are my tree lines. And the way I did these is I had this one. This is, this calculates it. And what I did here is I just had, I started off with one. So I'm doing these all as one big model. So I have this as one. And then this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and all that. Okay. Then for the second tree, what I did is I said, okay, this is 126, but this one is the previous cell plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, or the previous cell plus one, and I just did that all the way through, and then I just copy and pasted, and then I copied them over to here, but pasted them as a value, so I just have the values, not the formulas, okay? So now, all I need to do is I come in, and I'm going to copy and paste this whole thing, which looks like it's 170 by 32, And the hash marks means it just was too big to show the no the number's too big to show in the cell. Okay, so I hit Control C to copy, and it's 170 by 32. Models, new model, custom, no, 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 custom, 170, 32. Paste. Oh, I don't think I did it. No, 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 no. Call this my pixel tree line. All right, come back over here. Control C. Okay, okay. Now come back. Paste. There we go. Now we got trees. Now. In order to figure out where the trees start, I need to go back to my channel maps. And the first tree starts on Universe 1, Start Channel 1. So my my whole show revolves around this. So it's a Start Channel 1, and it goes through Channel 4875. I come back to my sheet just to check. I go through all my pixel trees, and it goes through this. I'm like, oh, let me unhide. See that? 4875. Okay, so that confirms that's where it should be. So I hide those again. Click OK. OK. We move them to where I want them to be, which is right about there. Okay, so that's my pixel tree line. Save. <coughs> uh, let's see. Then we start the, the fun of snowflakes. Well, well, Got to get caught up on my bookkeeping here. Okay, so now what I do is I go through and I'm picking up my my pixels or my my snowflakes. So. Over here I have a description of what kind they are. So the reason I'm referring to this sheet, it basically holds the same information as the other one, except here it tells me which kind of snowflake. So T1 top is the Boscoyo Chroma Flake 1. Okay. So I come over here and I'm looking for T1 top. Okay, just marking that so I can find it again. All right, so coming over to models, I come over here. This is my Boss Koyo Snowflake number one. And what I'm going to 
do is I'm going to grab all of this. It's 42 by, well, it's 40 wide, 42 high. Models, new. So this is Snowflake T1 top. It is a custom model. It is RGB nodes. Again, the width is 40. Height is 42. Come over here. Paste. See, there's my pretty snowflake. And then I need to figure out what start channel it is. And it starts on 5368. Comes in really big. I just size it down to what I'm comfortable with. See? And T1 top, that's where that goes. Okay, so the next thing I would do is I go through and uh, do all the snowflakes. So I got three different variations of snowflakes. Actually, there's four, but two of them map exactly the same way. And I go through and do all of these. Now, I could do that, but I have cheated. No, no saving. to do is I'm going to go to my Lightorama directory, keep X lights under there. X lights 2016. So I'm going to delete this guy. Going to re and then this is a backup I had made. Okay. And if I didn't screw anything up, that should load up okay. this. So that's what I was using to keep track, but this other column was what I was using to keep track before. Alright, so here's X lights. Go to layout. You see? Voila! Like magic. Okay, so that's after I added all the snowflakes. Uh, I added all the snowflakes I'm going to convert over to RGB. Now I got some other things in here that are single channel elements, right? Like my these big trees here, they're still single channel elements, so I wanna I wanna go and add those. Let me drag this over, give myself some room. Alright, so I come over here and it's like okay. So I got most of the RGB stuff, right? I mean there's these are all mapped didn't update the sheet here. Um, all the 24 inch snowflakes I have mapped. The ones that are 42 inch, Boscoyo Chromoflake is supposed to be coming out with like a 44 inch version, so I'm waiting on those. But pretty much everything else is mapped here, okay? Except for these things. These are my Lightorama channels. I have my Lightorama boxes running in DMX mode. So what I did is, for example, this is Every, all the Lightorama boxes on the front porch are 16. For the front yard, they're 14. On the one side of the garage, they're 15. And over in the side yard, they're in Universe 17. And these are the channels. So what I did is I went in and I listed out all of the channels. Okay, the channel names, the universe numbers, and, and what channel they're on. I actually wrote a little script to do this. Or you could open up your a sequence file in, a, in Excel and pull it up. But basically, I added all these. Then I went through and I added these channels. So these are in order, like they would be coming from Lightorama. And I simply found, okay, for Universe 14, what channel did that start at? I come over here, Universe 14 started at channel 4876. So I start at 4876, and then it's just, you see that, whatever's above it, plus one, all the way down. Okay, so let's see. I want to, let's go and add this guy here. Actually, I'm going to take a break. 